On this 2014 Ford Fiesta, we're going to review and install the Titan Chain Cable Snow Tire Chains, part number TC1026. For reference, we're working with a tire size today of 185 by 60 by 15. We'll go ahead and show what to look for before we put them on. Now this low profile chain is DOT approved to meet minimum requirements. This would be your best bet for round town use, such as a snowy day. So that way you won't be spinning out at every stop sign or stoplight. This is great to keep your vehicle on the highway in case you climb a hill and everybody else is spinning out on that as well. This end of the snow chain always goes towards the front of the vehicle. If we look underneath the crossbar here, it has actual labeled tire side. So we want this side to face the ice and snow. Run to the other side of the chain. The cables with the stops on it here, always goes towards the back of the vehicle when it's installed. There are a few quick details about the chain itself, but this obviously is a cable style chain with a ladder style pattern on the tire. It has rollers on top of a, of a coil wrapped cable here. These will move around as needed to get grip on the ice and snow. Now we take a look at the cable. It's a pretty thin assembly here, and this makes it a class S chain. So it's good for vehicles that do not have uh, a lot of clearance between the fender and a tire and the components behind the tire as well. Let's go ahead and put them on our tire. We'll drape it across the top of the tire first. And make sure your crossbars are even across the tread of the tire. It doesn't have to be exact, you can go by feel. Make sure the ends are tucked underneath the tire as far as possible and not tangled up. Then what may be helpful to get easier access to the inside of a tire is turn the whole wheel outside so you can see the inside of the tire. Now to connect the ends together, we'll simply run the two ends through the stops and take up the slack. Don't have to take up a lot of it. It doesn't have to be super tight, but basically follow the circle of the rim, I think. will work good. Go ahead and make the count the number of stops you used, and then we'll go ahead and remember, we'll need that for the outside of the chain. Extra cable will go through this little clip right here to help hold it in place. Now let's go ahead and turn the wheel back in and do the outside. All right, we'll do the outside, the same as the inside. We'll go ahead and run it up as tight as we can. Now for instance, on our chain here, we use number four on the inside as well. We can use one more or one less if we need to. Anything more than that, then we would probably want to readjust on the inside again. We also have an extra length that will go into this clip right here. At this point, our chains are installed on a tire. The manufacturer does recommend using a rubber adjuster on top of our cables here. We're going to show you part number TC-MA2. This simple adjuster has six points of contact with the chain. Just make sure the hook stays away from the tire and try to keep it as even as possible. With it in place, you can see how it adds tension to the cable and gets much firmer grip on the tire. Yet it still can move around as needed to work with the tire and dig into the ice and snow. When you're done using them, basically take them apart in reverse order you put them on. And with that, that'll finish it for a Titan Chain Cable Snow Tire Chains, part number TC1026 on this 2014 Ford Fiesta.